Hello and welcome. This is now the third home that the Gobi's decided to make and I think it's going to be his last home. He actually found the cave underneath this rock which in a way I hoped he would but also I was thinking of a, a pistol shrimp and Gobi pair might take up there if I ever got those. But given that this Gobi's going to get to around about six inches long there is actually plenty of room under there for him. He found it yesterday, slept in there last night and as you can see, hopefully, you can see all the shells. I bought a whole pack of shells for the hermit crabs so that in the future they can move into bigger shells and the goby's just taking them and now adding them into the entrance to stop the sand falling back in so he can now build up his entrance and he is spending an enormous amount of time making this his new home. Lovely to see in its own way. He's very, very active. He's completely cleaned all of this sand all the way around every day. It's, it's just non-stop, absolutely wonderful. The orange head cleaner ass comes around every... Now I've got a flipping mog wants to come in and have a look. Elsa, she's half Bengal tiger and my word, she is so, so inquisitive, ten times more inquisitive and persistent than our other, uh, our other kitten, or sub-adult, whatever you want to call them. Let her in, otherwise she'll be yelling and screaming all day long. Very, very good. We saw them in the shop and they were just black and white. But uh, the little markings on the side, to me they look like portholes in a ship, so I call them portholes. And again, with the light, one of them is actually slightly orange. The yeah, original colour of a clown, of course. So they have a bit more interest. The orchid dotty back, wherever she's gone, assuming it's a female, of course could be a male, goes into every tiny little nook and cranny. And of course, taking a film by hand, it's jiggling around all over the place. And I don't really get to um, see them properly. And unfortunately also, on this one I've got the I haven't put the filter on so it's probably quite blue and grotty see if I can get the filter on that's probably a lot better I hope let's try again see how he's getting on with covering up those shells Flipping Mog wants to come in and have a look. Elsa, she's half Bengal tiger, and my word, she is so, so inquisitive, ten times more inquisitive and persistent than our other, uh, our other kitten, or sub-adult, whatever you want to call them. Let her in, otherwise she'll be yelling and screaming all day long. See if we can get a, a better top-down shot. I'm trying to see the, the shells. Most of them are covered now. So we then have his entrance just there. He's a busy little chap. Lovely to see. And this is the, the Ras coming out a lot more now to the front. He will actually come out and almost look at me when I'm looking at him. Again, I say him, I don't like saying it. Beautiful. And this will be Elsa now. I'm trying to find ways over there. I've actually contacted Top Lids in America to see how much it will actually cost to have one of their um, lids put on or made. And they're actually looking into this at the moment. I've sent them photographs. 
we'll see. One thing I dread is to have Elsa jumping up onto the top. It probably The top probably will support her for a little while, but uh, once she's done it once, it will be again and again and again. So we're trying to discourage her from even touching the tank because this is what she tends to do. Sits there like that. And then the next thing you know, a paw goes out and she's up touching the tank. <laughs> Love it. There we go, just a quick update. Again, excuse the amateurishness of the uh, the video. I'm no David Bailey, respects to him, nor Steven Spielberg, respects to him. If you have watched this far, ask yourself why. <laughs> I always do. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next one.